Wolf back. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review, where today we're doing some exploring. In fact, we're doing some scouting up here at the White Top area. Recently, I did a military surplus overnight adventure there, and shortly after doing that trip, I was contacted by a viewer, and he'd asked if I was aware of any mines in the area. So I begun researching this, and yes, there are mines in the general area, but there's not one at White Top Mountain. But while I was looking at some satellite photos, I found a spot on White Top Mountain that I want to check out. It appears to be some sort of clearing at the end of a road. So with this episode, we're going up there to scout it out. Everyone, let's do this. As I go up the mountain here, the temperature is dropping. At the base, it was 64 degrees Fahrenheit, and right now it is 58 degrees. 58 degrees at the beginning of August. Woo, I love it. The leaves are changing colors up here. It's gorgeous. Well, everyone, welcome to White Top Mountain. We are up here at the top. And let me tell you, this is a very cool place. I've done a handful of adventures here and I love it. It is great. At the moment, I'm the only one here. The mountain is mine. Now inside here, I've actually camped before. And this is a beautiful spot. Over there in the weeds, in the brush, there's a metal can. I was camping here one night, it was probably two, three o'clock in the morning, sleeping good, and bow, something kicks that metal can. It was a deer coming through the woods. <sighs> Scared the crap out of me. Well, I just wanted to stop there, see what the site looks like before continuing on. Now with this trip, we might as well talk about the White Top area. I've done this before, so I will summarize this. But in the early 1900s, music festivals used to take place here. Fast forward to now, there's not much left. There's a couple of foundations, and that's about it. Instead of music festivals, what remains is an incredible view, lots of places to camp, and also, numerous antennas we have cell phone antennas i believe over here which we'll go to last and then up here we have some faa communication towers and whatnot by the way everybody i guess i should talk about the weather full on rain temperatures quite cool breezy this is tropical storm a CSS or whatever they call it, I have no idea. 
I can't pronounce it myself. This country boy doesn't do good with pronouncing weird words. <laughs> or anything more than a basic word, how about that? We've been receiving bands from the hurricane already and some upslope moisture, so we've been receiving a lot of rain. And of course, when it gets rainy, windy, foggy, that's when I like to come out. This is the road that goes up to the FAA towers. I've been up here one time before, maybe twice, and the last time the gates were open, I was able to go inside and explore. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do that or not. Well, the gate is locked this time. I mean, could I easily get inside of this? Yes. Am I going to? No. I don't see any no trespassing signs, but common sense tells you don't go in there, right? Let's keep going down and let's go to the other set of antennas. I've always been drawn to this forest. It is beautiful and yet mysterious. I think later on this year, maybe in the fall, I will do a hammock camp out in there. I see quite a few boulders, lots of places to hang. Looks awesome. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Some years back, I was here caving with Susie. We were inside of the truck and it was a thunderstorm. I mean, it was just rocking and rolling. It was just pouring the rain. So we're sitting there, this car pulls up, two ladies get out with bath towels in the rain and they take off and run into the forest here. Disappeared for about 20 minutes, then came back and then took off. I have no idea what they were doing. Just in case this is the first time that you've tuned in to the Outdoor Gear Review and you're not familiar with White Top Mountain, the Appalachian Trail is right over there. It's about three quarters of a mile away. And because of the AT and the incredible views, there are numerous campsites here all over the place. So as you're hiking along, you will find campsites, handmade fire pits all over the place. Now check this out. There's a trail that goes through the woods here. This could be a game trail, I'm not sure. Let's see if it goes anywhere, shall we? There's a huge pile of bear scat on the ground. Huge. I'm not sure what this used to be. Here's a piece of wood with an old screw in it. <laughs> with a salamander underneath it. Okay. Here's an old piece of tin. Can't tell what that belonged to. But outside of that, I really don't see anything else.
I've been exploring a little bit further. Still don't see anything at all. Well, interesting. This is part of an old food can. People have been enjoying this mountain for so long. There's no telling <laughs> what mysteries lie in the forest here. And the view up here is stunning, let me tell you. Here's the tower. All in all, there's not much to this. It's just a tower on top of a mountain. There should be another road right down here. And, okay, I actually see it. That's what I need to get to. So we're at the road now, it goes that way. And it goes this way. Wow. <laughs> this is simply amazing. It is so beautiful. We have Buzzards Rock down there. Appalachian Trail goes all the way down, keeps on going to Damascus. The white clouds that you see here, all of that is influenced from that tropical storm. We are getting close now. This is the entire reason why I came out here. <laughs> That's funny. Here's part of someone's car. <laughs> Hyundai. Mistakes were made. Okay, so we are at the spot. So the road comes through, wraps around, it does a loop, and it goes back out. But right up here is what I'm curious about. moment of truth time so what we have here is a gigantic fire pit wow this thing is huge it's really really deep so it looks like this is also a turnaround most of this area is just full of water from all the vehicles that have come through going into the woods it's pretty nice we have another fire pit A spot here for a small tent. Right here would be absolutely perfect to hang. I didn't realize it, but we are really close to that antenna. We are basically right under it. Right there is the antenna. Very interesting, very interesting. So this is a site or let's say this is an area where a lot of vehicles come, but not that many people camp. The amount of trash here is very minimal, and that's surprising. 
but you could tell that quite a few people drive up to check this place out and then take off. All right, everybody. That's it. We have checked out three cool places on this adventure, and I now know all that I need to. This is, without a doubt, a good site. You could camp here no problem. The only potential issue is that people can drive up and turn around. As far as rain goes, it's not bad at the moment, but I can see that there's a strong squall headed this direction. It will likely be here in about 30 minutes. Talking about the Appalachian Trail and my previous adventure here involving the military surplus gear, that was the trip where the dog came and hung out with me for a while. It spent a couple of hours just coming into camp, playing, taking off, coming back. That dog was so cool. There were some comments about the dog being lost or something like that. That's not the case. There were some comments about the dog being malnourished. That's not the case either. That dog is obviously a hiking dog. It was very lean, but it was not malnourished at all. First off, its coat looked great. Its eyes were very clear, well hydrated, and that dog had so much energy. <laughs> it was running around. It was playing the whole time. She was funny. She really was. The plan is to head back to the truck time to go and that's because this adventure is over this was very much a scouting trip i saw the satellite imagery and i needed to know what was over there now i do and in a few months we will do a winter time hammock hang adventure and i can't wait My friends was a great hike that was a lot of fun coffee time cheers I tell you what with this scouting trip I was blessed with some beautiful weather the views up here are amazing they really are it was rainy cool breezy that's what I call fantastic. If you like this episode, make sure to hit the thumbs up. And if you disliked it, you know what to do. Strength and honor. I'll see you all again soon.